Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out an update and a version upgrade for the Power Toys app, which is available, as many of you may know, for Windows 10 and 11 and can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Now, this latest release was rolled out and started rolling out a couple of hours ago. And the latest version bumps up the uh, version from 0.71 to 72. And there are four key highlights worth mentioning for the purpose of today's video. Now, the first has been a long time coming, where Microsoft say they have greatly reduced the installation size of the PowerToys app with version 0.72, which I think is a nice move, as I, was, as I would always say, in the right direction, because the app was becoming quite bloated in its installation size. Now, when compared to version 0.71, version 72, um, if we head over as an example, just to demonstrate to our apps, installed apps page, the installation size, if we find the PowerToys entry on this page, there we go, PowerToys. Microsoft says that the installation size on this page has been reduced from 1.15 gigabytes, as we can see, to 785 megabytes, which is a significant reduction. And they also say that the size in File Explorer's properties for the actual installation folder of PowerToys has been reduced from 3.10 gigabytes to 554 megabytes. So that's a significant reduction and a nice improvement. Now, the next is regarding PowerToys Run, which, as many of you may know, who do use the utility, is a quick launcher for your desktop that has, that has additional capabilities. And there's a new plugin now that generates hashes and GUID values for PowerToys Run. So PowerToys Run now has a new value generator. And the third key highlight is regarding the mouse utilities and the mouse highlighter feature, which basically, in a nutshell, if we just activate the feature, if the feature is toggled on by using uh, Windows Shift and H key, as I have posted previously, highlights your mouse. So there we go. If I'm pressing my left mouse button, on a right-handed mouse, it highlights it in yellow, and my right-hand mouse button, my secondary key, highlights in blue. You get the idea. And I've posted on the mouse highlight in previous videos, but the update for today's video, Microsoft says there is a new feature to have a highlight always follow the mouse pointer, which is this feature here, which, by the way, I cannot get to work yet. But nonetheless, if you can get it to work, um, it means even if you have no button, pressed in on your mouse, it will always highlight your mouse to the color that you have chosen from the, the options available. So Mouse Highlighter has a new feature to have a highlight always follow the mouse pointer, which I think um, is a nice um, handy feature if you are prone to giving a lot of presentations as an example. And then the fourth key highlight just uh, to mention for the purpose of today's video is regarding Power Rename, which is a Windows Shell extension for more advanced bulk renaming and microsoft says that the improvement here is they have reworked uh, the utility to support a bigger number of files without crashing so that's a bit of, bit of a stability improvement and then just to mention two known issues for the purpose of today's video because this is quite important if you are using the app on a regular basis microsoft says due to changing paths in the installation folder the mouse without borders service might be pointing to the wrong place so just take note of that and they say that users not running as admin will have to enable service mode again after install and a toast notification will appear if mouse without borders is unable to start the service correctly so just take note of that if you are using that utility and then the second known issue worth mentioning for today's video and um, if we head over to file explorer add-ons which i actually found i is a nice handy tool which I do use personally on a regular basis. File Explorer extensions changed paths might not be loaded correctly until File Explorer and preview host processes are restarted. So Microsoft says they advise restarting the computer when possible after updating PowerToys. So those are just a couple of the key highlights worth mentioning for this latest release, version 0.72, which was made available just a couple of hours ago. And if you would like to have a look at all the other fixes and improvements that did roll out, as there are too many to mention for the purpose of today's video, just click on the release notes, which will take you over to the PowerToys page, which will be found over on GitHub. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.